All right, what's up guys? I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about my settings and I'm just gonna run through all of my settings. I'm basically, I just cleared my cache so I'm going to uh, go through all my settings as I would normally have them set up. Uh, first one, the one that everyone does is just turn off the music. Um, but then I go, I have 90 FOV, my global sensitivity for infantry. I do 0.15 for infantry. If I'm doing armor, I will change that. I change it to 0.5 for armor. But other than that, I leave it at uh, 0.15. Um, free look sensitivity, I have that turned up to 2.5. Uh, I don't invert. I, I leave it normal and then I turn helicopter pitch and roll sensitivity all the way maxed out to 4.0. And then all the other settings in this tab are going to be just set, uh, the standard settings. I didn't change any of that. Then for graphics, I play on borderless, obviously 1920 by 1080. Uh, with the ICO update, it is better to play on DX12. And then I run relatively low settings, low graphic settings. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you prioritize clarity and scopes. If you don't already, all this is fine. Um, enable a yes. I turn that to medium with eight samples. Uh, you don't want FSR2. You want this tab to just not be active at all. Dynamic question or dynamic mesh quality stays at low. Don't click the low quality environment. Material quality also low. Texture quality. Turn that up to medium. Make sure you untick this box. Make sure it's un uh capped at two thousand. My shadow quality is low, AO quality is also low, and particle quality is low, ocean quality low. Like I said, it's very low settings because FPS matters. And so the lower the settings, obviously, the higher the FPS, the higher your input is on the helicopter. Um, lens flare gets turned off, motion blur stays, motion blur, sorry stays off uh turn the screen sharpening up to 1.0 brightness also gets maxed out contrast stays the same and saturation gets turned up to 1.05 you can just go ahead and click apply and then go into the audio tab so obviously these are my headphones and then my master volume is at 45%. I turn this to 43% and then 35% there. Uh, music volume, obviously zero out of game. You can have that as whatever you want. Uh, audio input device. You're just gonna, e either device is fine, but if you have a specific microphone, you're just gonna change it to whatever microphone you have. I obviously only have the one microphone, so it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, command voice, I like this a little bit lower. And then squad voice, not 700, 100. Oh, that is the wrong tab. 75, this. That stays at 100. So I want command voice in my right ear at a quieter volume. Squad voice is at 100%. And I typically do that in both ears. Local chat, I also want a little bit quieter because people be screaming. Um, the rest of these settings are fine. And then comes the fun part of all of my controls, which really, I didn't change a whole lot, but um, toggle squad list, I changed that to right bracket. Toggle scoreboard, no, 
scoreboard hold instead of tab i changed that to hyphen and you'll see why when we get to the uh helicopter settings or not the helicopter the voice and command settings um Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Ignore that part. What was I just interact cycle scope magnification level? Yeah, change. I, I changed that to H just because of a macro that I have set up on F. And then all the rest of this should be okay for command chats. Or general, I mean, right? Is that everything? Yeah. And then voice and command, I go down here. I delete the U mark. I don't use that. I change the attack, I add tab. That's um, that's why I did the scoreboard thing. It's just easier for me to hit tab than it is to hit U all the way across my keyboard. And then I use move mark uh, middle mouse so that I'm not alt tabbing while trying to mark stuff in the helicopter. And then for infantry settings, Let's see here. This is the one that I wanted to change. I think that's it. That should be it. Um, but that's just my macro setup um, to shoot, basically. Reload ADS. All that stuff is fine. Yeah, all that is fine. Let me get to ground vehicle and I change turn engine on off to Y. And you'll see why when we get to the helicopter tab. But other than that, that's the only setting I change in this tab is from E to Y to turn on the engines. And then helicopter settings, this is where I really start changing stuff. Um, WSAD is standard. I don't touch that at all. Pitch up is spacebar. Pitch down, left shift, roll right E, roll left Q. Um, like I said, I pretty much have the standard settings. I just added a few extra keybinds and moved a couple ones around. Uh, cockpit zoom because pitch down is also left shift i just move that to x and then these bottom four are to load and unload so what i do is when i'm loading supplies i use two and three to load the supplies into my helicopter and i have two thumb mouse buttons i use to unload supplies just makes it easier when you're hovering on a hab trying to resupply um Helicopter axis, you're not going to need to touch this tab really at all. Um, this is mainly for people who have HOTAS setup. So if you have a HOTAS setup or a joystick or whatever, then you could start messing with all these. But I don't have that. I don't know anything about it. So I just leave it as it is. Uh, for my interface, I have the in-game help stance indicator. I turn the vehicle keybinds off. It just clutters my screen a little bit too much, I feel like. Uh, skip give, give up confirmations, obviously. Menu tooltips, yes. Um, I have these turned off. 
and I don't show connection messages mainly because there's a lot of people connecting and disconnecting. It just kind of clutters the top left of the screen. But other than that, that is all fine. And then this is just personal preference at this point. But I show name tag kit and it sh uh, show name tag fire teams. And then show map marker fire teams as well. And that's about it for my settings. I mean, there's no more settings to go through, really. Um, defaults. Did I just fuck it up? I think I just fucked it up. I did. Well, I'm going to go back through and do that now, but that's all of my settings, really. Um, the only other thing is that my mouse DPI is usually around 800 to 1000 uh, DPI on my mouse, I believe. Um, you really want the higher sensitivity when you're flying a helicopter so that you have more maneuverability and you're not using your entire desk or mouse pad to uh, maneuver, especially when a vehicle is shooting at you. Well, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I, hopefully, this answered a lot of questions that you guys have been asking me in the comments. Um, yeah.